this rugged path that we chose to make a living. You know, it's a grind at times, but it can be so rewarding. We're excited to take you along the journey in 2020 as we live life on the cut line. <laughs> You know, Lake St. Clair is often overshadowed by all the other great lakes, you know, because of its small size, but it is so legendary in the fact that it's just miles and miles and miles of habitat, you know, square miles after square miles you have to cover just to locate the fish, and it's, it's full of bait, it's full of, of, like I said, habitat grass, flats that they can spawn on and reproduce, and it's just a mecca for smallmouth. You know, St. Clair, it's a, I mean, it's a world-renowned smallmouth fishery, but it's its a lot different than, than most of the places that we go. It is uh, pretty much a featureless lake. It, it really has no, no humps or, or drop-offs or, you know anything really it's got some grass and um, the whole lake is like you know the same depth so you just kind of fish around and, and catch them but I mean this is an amazing smallmouth fishery whether this week showcases it or not I mean we saw last year at the AOI championship I mean for three days it took over 75 pounds to win and that's just unheard of <laughs> Thank you.
gonna come down here. Go ahead. Drop first St. Clair's Mama. Nice one too. They're gonna be, I think they're gonna be fatter in this river than they are out there in that lake. I don't think you're gonna find the the big wad of them in here like you will in the lake. But it'll be nice to have something that if the if the wind blows really bad have something to come in here and fish. Mm -hmm. Right on the edge of, right on the back side of the current break. Let's do that again. fishing this flat and I was throwing a, a 5XD which gets down to about 15 to 17 foot and I was seeing a lot of fish up like maybe four feet off the bottom. I swapped to a 10 foot diving crankbait first cast I caught one. So these smallmouth like stuff right above them. They don't like stuff eye level when they're up here on these flats cruising they want something up above them. So they can come up and ambush it. Made a little change and got a bite. We'll see if it works out. Should be our last elite event winding up in smallmouth which is typical of, of what we do on an elite season um, but it's going to be a different different year we go back to the south after fishing for smallmouth to really some grinder events in the fall so um, it's definitely going to be a change of pace from that aspect you know if we make a, a top 20 here then that kind of eases the blow on that one and gets us back up there in the in the points. And this could be the last event where you really get to go out and have some fun and catch a bunch of fish. Um, you know, Canada's off limits this year. 
So it's really got everybody condensed down to the U.S. side of the lake. Um, don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, we'll have to see how it plays out. But it's definitely a different year than uh, we've seen in the past. Day number one, Lake St. Clair. Um, we're about 59, I think, so we're doing it at 340. We've got a pretty long day. The wind's already blowing a little bit, so uh, it's supposed to pipe pretty good around like 9 o'clock. So it's going to be a little tough, but uh, we're going to have to you know, just drift around and see if we can't find five of these big St. Clair smallmouths and uh, make it happen today. Boat 59, Drew Cook. Boat 60, Caleb Sumrall. Boat 61, Gerald Swindle. A Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a Lake Fork a legend, the one and only Lee Livesey. Out of the top ten and our last event, the barrister, Edward Lofgren III. Here is our ring in the Betting Elite Series Rookie of the Year. It's a little one, but it's a start. I freaking had him too, son. He wouldn't have come off in a year. A little love on that one. A little love. We got one. We've got one. It's only just begun. Be a bass. Please be a bass. No, nope. I'm gonna say it's not. I don't know what it is. Oh my god. Come here, big girl. Yes! Yes! That's a freaking giant, dude. That's a stud. Oh man, I almost tightened the drag down and put the heat on that one because I thought it was a freaking drum. Oh, God. I'm getting a little warm now, son. Big one. A little love. A little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, what you got? They're coming, Ben! Oh. 
Yes. Number four. Watch, watch your stand there. And that's not where you want to be. So uh, I know you're going to be after him tomorrow. Yeah, you know, I kind of dug myself a hole now, and I got to catch probably 23 or so to get back even. But I'm around him. I caught him quick this morning at that by like nine or so, and then I just couldn't do anything after that. So hopefully tomorrow will work out a little bit better. We'll catch him better. Go get him. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Texas Fest champion, Drew Benton. Five fish for Drew Benton here on day number one. Looks like a good start to things. Five alive for 20 pounds and nine ounces. The parade of pigs continues here on day number one. The Yeti Bassmaster Elite at Lake St. Clair. Twenty pounds and nine ounces for the three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Going to weigh this for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Needs to be better than five pounds, three ounces, five one. A little short of that, but leading the tournament through and uh, a great start. I got a one that I was rigging. I was rigging, rigging it weedless with that, and then the other one I just put a damn nose hook on it. Just because it was on a People different drop shot. Whenever they, they get that, they got it. It's like, yeah. Dude, I don't know what to do more. I've got to catch 20 pounds. I mean, all I need to do is go out there and do the same thing again. I mean, I'm liable to catch 13. That's why I don't care for this place. It's just. There's nothing that you can do that will set yourself apart from everybody else. You just gotta go fishing and play the odds. The odds are you'll get it in front of at least enough to have 20 pounds at some point during the day. You might just gotta bite. Day two here at St. Clair, you know, had a good start yesterday. It was real fortunate. I fished around a lot of people who who had a lot less or, you know, didn't get that quality bite. And I was real fortunate. I got a couple quality bites and got me up in that 20 pound range. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of the same. We're gonna start in that area. If it's not working out, 
we're going to venture out. And I think a lot of those fish get pushed off places. And late in the day, I saw some fish, you know, to the outside of where I caught them. So we got a game plan going today. All we got to do is back up what we had yesterday, and we'll be riding thick things. And uh, excited to go fishing. This, this is an awesome place to smallmouth fish. I hope you fish till 10 without a bite. You get the first one with a six pounder, it jumps seven times and you lose it at the boat. <laughs> All right, man, appreciate it. Four o'clock. Three time U.S. Open champion. Thank you. Thank you. From Colgate, Oklahoma, this past master classic qualifier, Luke Honor. The former rookie in there, Texas Best champion from Florida. Number five. Mm, that's a good one. It's a bass. Who I'm dropping it right on one right there. Look how good he ate it. <laughs> I just let it sit there. It's a good trade.
qualifier, former Elite Series Rookie of the Year, and Toyota Texas Fest Champion, Drew Benton. At 20 pounds, 9 ounces yesterday, it's 14 even to stick around. I think he's done that. Five fish, all alive. 19 pounds, 10 ounces. Gives him 40 pounds and 3 ounces. And he moves into 15th place currently. Let's bring up our former Elite Series Rookie of the Year from Florida, Drew Cook. Drew Cook had 16 pounds, 5 ounces yesterday. Looks like a better day today. It's payday. Got to be a better day. Five fish today, 21 pounds, 12 ounces, 21, 12. And Drew Cook rockets into 12th place with 38 pounds and an ounce. Caught, caught another one? Yeah, I definitely salvaged this event after the first day. Um, you know, today I had a blast. I caught so many bass. They were all just like 3-1, 3-2. But I caught all my fish drop shotting, um, a 4.25 inch big bite, uh, triple or 
join a jerk minnow in tilapia magic and you just drop it around and every time you'd hook one and one follow it drop it over but uh yesterday i didn't say anything on the way in yesterday but i had what could have been a train wreck start so my, at the house we were at the breaker trip and nothing charged so uh my troll or my cranking battery was dead so at eight o'clock my cranking battery was dead and i had to jump the the motor off and leave it running all day long so i fished for eight hours with the motor running if i wouldn't have had battle born batteries then i would have not had a trolling motor all day yesterday so i owe everything tomorrow yesterday to those batteries because without them i'd have just been aimlessly out there drifting around but we had a good event now we got three three tournaments back down where i live so get a flipping stick and go to work Look forward to seeing Let's you bring there. up the 2016 Rookie of the Year, the 2018 Toyota Texas Fest champion, Drew Benton. At 40 pounds and three ounces to start the day. Five fish here today. 19 pounds and an ounce. He moves into 14th place with 59 pounds and four ounces. Another good finish on the Bassmaster Elite Series for Drew Benton. Drew, got to be happy how this small mud derby ended up for you. Yeah, you know, uh, just to come out of the three northern swing events with, uh, you know, two cuts made it was was really huge for me. Now we're going to get to go back to my neck of the woods and have three grinder events. So I feel like I've got a little bit of momentum going into the rest of the season. And, uh, you know, it, we'll just see what happens. It, it's going to be a lot of frogging and flipping and shallow water power fishing, and that'll be right up my alley. Looking forward to watching it go down. Four events left, and he's going to be part of all of them.